Akai and Ableton have been collaborating for over 10 years now. So it only makes sense that today I'm going to be making a collaboration with my man Rembrandt Media, who is the Ableton expert. So I'm going to start a bit idea inside of the MPC and Rembrandt Media is going to finish it inside of Ableton. Let's, Let's get, get down, down to business. business. Hey there, thank you for joining me today. I am Anubis and today I am going to be creating a loop inside of the MPC and then export it as an Ableton live set for my man Rembrandt Media to flip it inside of Ableton. Here we are inside of the MPC. I'm just going to show you how I built the loop for my man Rembrandt. So for this one, I picked the so 100 expansion if you don't know by now so 100 is making dope expansions for the mpc users make sure you check his website so the one that i'm using right now is called paid forward it only costs one dollar i highly encourage you to go ahead and fetch it So the good thing, he has included some previews for all of his programs so that you can check before loading the, the program, how it sounds and if it, it fits what you need. So I have used two sounds from the kit. So I've sent Rembrandt a C minor chord progression. I just want to show you how easy it is to export any project as an Ableton live set. So basically from the, the main menu, you go to the project and then you have ALS export right there at the bottom right of the screen. So you click on that and then you can uh, choose some options. So here I'm just going to adjust uh, to 16 bits and then uh, you can choose to export the MIDI as audio and you can also specify if you want to include like uh, volume or pan settings I'm just going to leave it like this I don't need no audio, audio tails and uh, the beat rate, the sample rate is okay for me so I'm just going to export it like this and uh, from there I just need to pick my directory and uh, create create this one after that I just need to name my project I don't like naming my beats so I give them some IDs it's easier for me to remember what they are with the IDs instead of the names. There it is, so we have exported our project as an Ableton live set and uh, we are sending this over to Rembrandt. The following day. Hey guys, just got the message from Rembrandt Media. He's done with the beats. Let's check it out now. That 
trap is crazy man Make sure you head over to Rembrandt's media channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and somewhere up there so that you can check how he did open the Ableton Live set which was created inside of the MPC and listen also to the full beat he created with a sample that I've sent. Thank you for sticking with me until the end of this video. I hope you enjoy this content. If so, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Till the next time, take care. Peace, peace.